Mr. UF here, I want to take a chance to review federalism with you before the AP exam because it's a topic that they love to ask questions about. First of all, a federal system is when a constitution splits power between the central government and the state's governments. We drew these circle and square diagrams on the board a lot during the semester, and uh, the central government notice here is it has power, but so do the states. And there are certain powers reserved to the states that uh, the Constitution gives the states, and the central government can't do anything about it. We describe the, the power sharing with a double-sided arrow. There are some areas that the central government gets to tell the state governments what to do, but in some areas the state government can tell the central government the way it's going to be. When you hear federal, I want you to think the United States of America. We were the first country to create it. Our Constitution created the first ever federal system in the world. Unitary systems, by contrast, put all the power in the central government. Notice here the central government circle is bigger and the squares are much smaller. They boss around the state governments and tell them the way it's going to be. When you hear unitary, I want you to think China. In China, their states or provinces uh, don't have nearly the kind of power that Minnesota or Iowa or Wisconsin have in the United States. Uh, Beijing and the Communist Party there basically tells the states the way it's going to be. The final system is called a confederal system, and that's where it's basically a 180 degree flip-flop of a unitary system where instead of the states being tiny and insignificant, the states have all the power, and they dictate what the central government can and can't do. When you hear confederal, I want you to think the Confederate States of America, or you could think about the Articles of Confederation, which was the first constitution that the United States used after we became independent. Didn't work for us. These tend to be highly unstable, and then we chose to create a federal system instead. In our book, when there is questions or, or uh, multiple choice or FRQs about federalism, they're typically going to be about how does the central government and the state government get, so, get along, and there's often some conflict between them. We talked about a couple of the conflicts um, this way. Washington recently allowed recreational use of marijuana. The federal government says you're not supposed to have recreational use of marijuana, the circle and the square there's some tension between the two of them. Another example, in Iowa, they've decided to allow same-sex marriage. The federal government doesn't recognize same-sex marriage. And uh, you'll, you'll see some conflict over this issue between the circles and the squares. And actually, um, in the summer of 2013, we'll get some Supreme Court rulings that will kind of further evolve this issue and maybe let us know um, whether or not all states can have same-sex marriage or whether or not the circle has any business at all saying that there can't be same-sex marriage.